Now let's talk about the reports we need to open. So here's a list of the reports we need to open. You should have no problem opening up the profit and loss, the journal, the balance sheet. But let's talk about the reconciliation detail report. So specifically, there's one little gotcha step that I want to make sure I show you, even though it is in the instructions. So let's follow these directions to open up the reconciliation report for cash operating. Later, you'll do the same thing for cash payroll and then for the American travel card. But in this video, we'll only do the reconciliation detail report for the cash operating checking account. So it says, on the, open the report, you go to reports, banking, previous reconciliation. So you go to reports, banking, and then previous reconciliation. Don't grab the reconciliation discrepancy. We want previous reconciliation. It says, next step, step two, set the account to the proper account. So we want it for cash operating. So notice this says cash operating, but later we'll do one for cash payroll and we'll do one for the American travel card. So always double check that the account is correct. And then notice we have three previous reconciliations to choose from. You did this one and I did these two previous ones. So which one do we want to um, pull up? The statement ending date of 4-30-2017. So this one is correct. Don't choose this one or this one. Choose this one. What type of report? Notice it says reconciliation detail. So this should um, be selected out in detail. And then here's the tricky part. It defaults to this, but, but this pulls up a PDF file, which will probably be fine when you pull it up. However, when you say back up and um, when you back up your file, and I try to open up this file. If you had cho chosen PDF file, it will not open. But we found out that if we choose this one, instead of a PDF, it'll pull up a regular report format, and then we can um, then I can open it up when I grade your report. So again, sh make sure that you choose transactions cleared plus any changes made to these transactions since reconciliation. So in other words, don't choose the one with the PDF. So now we're going to display. And then reconciliation detail, this report displays current data. It shows all transactions that were reconciled on the given date. It also shows transactions that were uncleared at the time of the reconciliation and new transactions. So technically, if you entered more transactions after the reconciliation, they will appear on this report. But for our purposes, we can just ignore this. In fact, you can check this so it doesn't bug you anymore. And then here's our report. It shows the checks and payments. Notice uh, this says cleared transactions. That means cleared transactions means the transactions that were reconciled. As you can also tell by the check marks. Anything with a check mark means it was cleared, which is another way of saying it has been reconciled. So here's the checks and payments that were reconciled. Here's the deposit and credits that were reconciled. And then I have a check figure down here. It says make sure your report's total cleared transactions is 3020.78 so this uh, line here is a key line total cleared transactions should be 3020.78 so that's just a little check figure so make sure make sure for so you can make sure that you're on the right track and so that's how you open up a reconciliation detail report again don't choose a selection that says open it with a pdf because then i will not be able to open it when you send it to me and that's it